what's up guys this is our original message and welcome to another video so in this video you can see i have an iphone 5c here that is passcode locked so you know i don't know the passcode to this device and then meaning i will not be able to enter into the device and do whatever i want to do so in this tutorial we'll be bypassing the passcode on this device and then we'll be able to get signal and data everything iMessage FaceTime everything that works on iPhone 5c is going to work so you can see my device is disabled so we will be bypassing with program this using our Windows machine you do not need any sliver or you don't need any Mac OS to bypass this all of the process will be done on the Windows machine so you know that I've already before this video comes live I've I already have posted a video that will show you how to put a device in point dfu using rain usb or using iponda 32 so in this tutorial i'll be using iponda 32 to put the device into point dfu if you do not know how to do that make sure that you check the link in the description there's a video link and then you you can use that and then um watch the video make your own bootable usb and then boot it and put your device into point dfu so i'll put the device into point dfu first and then we will get onto our windows machine and continue the bypass welcome back guys so my device is already in point dfu mode i already used iphone 33 to put it into point dfu mode if you do not know how just check the link in the description i've already made a video about that on how you can make a rain usb bootable usb drive and then boot it and then use iphone 32 so let's launch program disk since our device is in phone dfu launch program disk okay so this tells us that we we need to delete all the boot files that we, we were using on version 2.6 because it, it will not work on version 2.7 click on ok and then wait for it to connect to the server okay so it has connected to the server once you see this means our device can be connected so i'll quickly connect my device and then boom our device is connected iphone 5c all right so first thing we have to do is we have to copy our ecid and then click on register here this will actually open the registration panel which is free to register paste it in and then click on register it should register your device and to show that the registration have, has reflected disconnect and then connect again and you can see our device has been connected registered successfully go to options and then select passcode bypass the ram disk method click back and then we need to download a boot file so we'll just click on start and then click on this click here to download boot files i'll click that okay so let's go back and check our device is actually iphone 5.4 that's the product type so that is what we are going to download as the boot file name just go into older model because it is an older model go to older models and locate where it is and then download okay so i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to download again once you've downloaded it just put it here don't create don't create any folders or whatever here and put it in just paste them in the boot folder that, that is it don't do anything else and once you are done just click start and then select your ios version obviously it will be one just select that and then click on boot i device so it's gonna ask you whether your device is in pwn dfu with ipon 32 just click on yes if you've done that if not click on no if you've not done that and then you click yes it will not boot your device into ssh mode you'll be getting errors so just click on yes and then it will only store drivers and then stuff okay so now it's decompressing the boot file if you get an error here make sure that you have the latest boot files from the mega folder or the mega server that you're using 
you might see the color of your screen um, it, it will change the uh, colors that is perfectly fine and then you're going to see a variables boot on your device so you will see a variables boot on your device and then boom our device is now in SSH mode so once our device is in SSH mode we we'll click OK click next and then click on backup i device so click on backup i device and then great our device has been successfully backed up you can check the activation activation files yeah, you can check the activation files and then you have your iCloud info make sure that the most uh, um, ic-info.sisb is available and it is, it is 2 kilobytes so that is it just close it and then we are going to erase our device so click on erase our device and click on yes Okay, now the reg the erase has has successfully completed. So you should see um, an Apple logo followed by a progress bar on your device. Okay, so the device is now erasing. The device is now erasing, and then it should be on the hello screen. And then once it is on the hello screen, we are going to use the same method that we used to back up the activation to activate the device. And then everything is going to work. And then you can see that our device is now in the hello screen, hello mode. Uh, it is iCloud lock. So we, 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 we will use the same method. Pond if you're using iPond32 and then activate. So I'll put it in Pond DFU mode and then we'll continue the tutorial welcome back guys so our device has been successfully erased and then it is also now in pond dfu i used iphone 32 for the activation so now since our device uh, has been erased we need to uh, restore the activation files and then we are going to use the same process as we did when saving the activation files so now let's launch program disk make sure that if you have windows defender turned on make sure you have to turn it off Okay, so it's going to start connecting to the server. Okay, well, click OK like we did earlier. Now it's done connecting to the server and then everything is okay. So we just connect our device that is in DFU mode or phone DFU mode. So we go to options, then we go to RAM disk, click back, then click on start. You click on select iOS version and then select the iOS version and click on boot iDevice. It will ask you this, yes we have, yes. Okay, so now it is going to decompress the boot files and start booting our device. You can see some changes in 3 u it's booting the device. Okay, so now you see a, you see a verbose boot on your device and then it will connect to SSH mode. If that doesn't happen, click on retry or boot i device again and then it's going to try the whole process and put your device into SSH mode. Click on OK, then click on Next and then we are going to activate our device. So, uncheck this. When you when you tick this, it will actually delete setup.app. So, untick this and then you we'll click on activate i device and then the activation is in progress 
and boom you see that you do you wanna block OT updates I recommend clicking no for devices lower than iOS uh, devices like these the older older models I recommend clicking on no so click no and that is it guys our device has been successfully activated it's now rebooting and you will see that it will connect to through youtube very very soon uh, i'll connect to real time so i'll show you the setup screen and everything okay so the device is now connecting to three youtubes um yes successfully connected so you can see that it says activated here so i'll quickly um use the real time screen to show you it's now installing the dependency so wait till the installation the downloading and installation is done okay so now it is done you can see that my device is um is this so i'll i'll select the country i'll select the country now and then you can see that we have next here click on continue it might not work for the first time if it takes you back to the um the first screen that's perfect you can still continue yes you can see that it took me to the first screen so just continue like this and it will skip it the the country and then this time it's going to skip this page yes you can see then it's disable location services okay and then we are not gonna set passcode so don't set passcode and then continue and then we set up as new we don't share get started that is it so that is that is it guy we successfully um bypass the device on passcode and everything is going to work including sim card cellular data and everything is going to work so if you like this video make sure that you, you subscribe and comment something under the video and i provide a software for um, shops and commercial um, software sellers and panel administrators if you want the software uh, for commercial uses i provide that at an affordable price you can dm me or telegram or whatsapp let's make a deal Bye guys, see you in another video.